All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the big freak, uh, Mr. Big, Victor Richards. Now, a lot of my videos, I've been getting a lot of comments about Victor saying he was one of the best bodybuilders to never turn pro. He's an uncrowned Mr. Olympia. He's one of the best bodybuilders of all time, stuff like that. Um, and I kind of disagree with those statements. Um, some of the bodybuilders that I have as the best bodybuilders that never turned pro are the bodybuilders that competed um, with some of the best guys um, in the Nationals, in the USAs, and, and really struggled trying to turn pro against some of the best bodybuilders in the world. So the reason that I believe Victor Richards is not an uncrowned Mr. Olympia and he's not one of the best bodybuilders to never turn pro is the fact that he didn't compete that much, so we don't really know where he stood next to some of those best guys from his era. Um, when we have guys like Matt Mendenhall, who stood next to Lee Haney and only lost by a point and never turned pro, um, those are the guys that are in the conversation for the best uncrowned uh, uncrowned pros, um, uncrowned Mr. Olympia, stuff like that. Um, but this guy was a guy who only competed in five shows. Victor Richards only did five amateur shows. Um, the 1992 Nigerian Championships, 1989 Mr. Barbados, 1984 California Gold Cup Classic, 1983 Teen Los Angeles, and the 1982 American Cup. Um, and he won all of those shows except for the American Cup. Um, so he was known for his extreme size. That's why he's called Mr. Big. His off-season weight was 360 pounds, and his competition weight was 330 pounds. He had 26 arms, 26-inch arms, 37-inch thighs, 24-inch calves, and his shoulder width was rumored to be 43 inches. His chest was rumored to be 67 inches. And these are the stats according to bodybuilding.com. Um, some of the stats, according to Muscular Development, an interview uh, that they did with Victor, he claimed that he was able to uh, incline bench 550 pounds, 600 pounds on the flat bench, 200-pound dumbbell presses, shoulder presses with 455, 450 pounds on the military press, military press, squatted over 900 pounds, and he's done barbell curls with 315 for reps. Um, so he's a very strong guy, a very massive guy, but like I said, he didn't compete very often. So that's why I don't think he's one of the one of the I don't think he's the best bodybuilder to never turn pro, but he is in the conversation for some one of the best guys that never turned pro. But I don't think he is the best because we never got to see him stand against the best like we did with so many other bodybuilders that didn't turn pro. Um so I think uh really a lot of his notoriety came from his guest posing appearances in the off season. Um, he would make these crazy guest posing appearances um, weighing, you know, excess of 330 pounds because he said he was 360 pounds in the off season. So he would show up to these guest posing gigs and people would be like, well, who the fuck is this guy? Because he wasn't a pro, um, but he was he was somewhat well known. But he would make these appearances and these people would be like, why is this guy not Mr. Olympia? This guy's fucking huge. And that's kind of where he got famous was he would just he would just take all this time um, not competing. And then he would just come out of nowhere at these guest posings looking like a fuck and freak and people would just not know what to think um so that's really kind of how he got notorious notorious big no pun intended um but yeah man he's a crazy mass monster he's a freak but i just don't think he's an uncrowned mr olympia i don't think he is uh the best bodybuilder to never turn pro i think he's one of the best um but i just think just because we never got to see him stand against the guys like flex wheeler ronnie coleman Dorian Yates. We never got to see him stand against these guys, so we don't really know how he would have how he would have fared in competition against them. Um, so let me know what you guys think of the video. Do you think he is an uncrowned Mr. Olympia? Do you think he was the best bodybuilder to never turn pro? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Nick Strength and Power signing out.